What you're seeing in these pictures is the tiny fluctuations in the temperature of the universe. And these fluctuations also represent tiny fluctuations in the density of matter. We can calculate what this pattern would have been without the presence of dark matter. But that's not the pattern that we see. We see a pattern where the dark matter must be at least four to five times ordinary matter. You can try different combinations of ordinary and dark matter along with dark energy to see what effect it would have on the CMB on an online tool. I'll leave a link in the description. The bottom line is that as a result of the effects of dark matter, small clumps of ordinary matter were beginning to form prior to the CMB, creating regions of higher and lower density in the universe. This change in the homogeneity of the early universe would go on to have profound effects on the overall structure of the universe because those early clumps would act as gravitational seeds that would result in clusters and superclusters of galaxies.